Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you some speed cleaning tips and how to clean your house in 30 minutes. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. Obviously this is not gonna be a deep cleaning routine. You're not gonna be able to deep clean your entire house in 30 minutes. But this is for when you have company coming over and you have a time limit and you want the main areas in your home to look good. You want them to be tidy and you want them to be pretty clean for your guests when they come over. You don't want them to come over to a dirty house. Inviting company over was one of my tips for getting motivated to clean. So if you have not seen that video, I will have that linked above. I had a lot of good tips in there. So if you need some motivation to clean, that is a video to watch. But obviously, when you have some company coming over, that gives you a little bit more pep in your step to get some stuff done. So, you have 30 minutes. I'm gonna share with you the things to get done in those 30 minutes to have your house looking so good when your company arrives. And I also have some speed cleaning tips that I'm gonna be sharing with you along the way just to help your process move a whole lot faster so you can get more done in less time. You guys know that I love doing the power hour, but because I'm so scatterbrained and I will walk into a room, I will see one thing and get totally distracted and end up not even finishing what I started in that room, I have learned that I have to break things down into sections. That is the best way that I know to get stuff done. So if you're like me, that's gonna help a whole lot. So when you have only 30 minutes to get stuff done before company's coming over, we're gonna break it down into some little segments here and there. So in that first 10 minutes, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're going to tidy up the common areas in the home. This can be the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, dining room, possibly if they're gonna be staying over, maybe even the guest room, just any common areas in your home that the fine things are out of place. So you're definitely gonna to want to go throughout and pick all those things up. And to make things easier, a tip that you can do is actually to get a little basket. I love grabbing a hamper and just throwing everything in from that room that does not belong. So I will get a clothes hamper and I will just throw that on the floor and as I'm going through each room, I will toss everything in that hamper. And then once I'm done tidying everything up, I will take that hamper and I will go and put all those things away if I have time within that 10 minute span. Also in that 10 minute span, I like to flip off all of the pillows on the couches because I have a pillow obsession and I like to make sure that all of those are nice and fluffed and they look good for our guests. Now that that 10 minutes is up, we're going on into the next 10 minutes. Now in this section, we're going to be wiping off the sinks and the countertops. This is going to be for our guest bathroom and the kitchen areas. Any area that our company is going to see, we want to wipe it down. So I'm going to go in the guest bathroom, wipe the sinks down, wipe the countertops down, and then I'm also going to be going into the kitchen, making sure all those countertops are wiped off and that the sink is clean too. If I have any dishes in the sink, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in the dishwasher. So because I wash my dishes at night and then I unload it every morning, I can freely put dirty dishes in the dishwasher as the day goes on. So this is so helpful when trying to hide dirty dishes and get them out of sight. So I'll go ahead and take all of the dishes out of the sink and put those in the dishwasher. So now we only have 10 minutes to spare and we're gonna break it into two. So we're gonna have five minutes and five minutes left. So in the first five minutes, we're going to empty the trash. I like to empty the trash in the bathroom and in the kitchen. So if they need to throw anything away, they won't see a big pile of nastiness in our trash already. So it's just a nice, empty, clean, free trash can. So I do that in both the kitchen and the bathroom. This may not take you five minutes, but that's just gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room. So I like to do that in the five minutes, bam. So for our last five minutes, this is gonna be the icing on the cake. So this is just to finish everything off. So this is when you're just going to change out some towels in the bathroom area so they can have some nice, clean, new hand towels put out so they can dry their hands off if they go into the bathroom. And also replenish the toilet paper. So if you're noticing that your toilet paper is running low, you would hate for your guests to get in there and notice they're out of toilet paper. So go ahead and replenish that too. So the last bit of icing on the cake is going to be refreshing your area. So that can be you spraying down your furniture with some air freshener 
or lighting a candle, melting a wax melt. If you love essential oil and diffusers, this could be when you put your diffuser on or you can just open the windows. This is completely up to you. Whatever you enjoy doing, this is when you do that. So when your company walks in, it smells amazing. Everything looks all nice and tidy and it's ready for your guests. One of my favorite things to do that really helps me move a whole lot faster when I'm cleaning is carrying a cleaning basket or a cleaning caddy bucket whatever you have that has all of the products in it that you will be using so you're not having to run from room to room to grab that product which takes time so if you keep it with you in a nice little basket it doesn't have to be nice it can just be whatever that you have to keep everything on you at all times so that right there is going to cut your time in half if you keep all of your cleaning products with you another tip is if you clean throughout the day when you get ready to do your big cleaning routines your big deep cleanings you won't have so much to do. So as you clean throughout the day, so when you see something and you go ahead and handle it, it makes everything so much easier. For instance, if you continue to pile your dishes in the sink all throughout the day, you could just clean them as you go, or you could just put them in the dishwasher as you go. That will keep you from having to wash all of them at one time, or to have to load all of them in the dishwasher at one time. If you do it as you go throughout the day, you won't have so much to do when you get ready to do your big clean. So because I do clean throughout the day, when I have guests coming over I am not running around like a crazy person <laughs> trying to make sure that the house is clean because it's just a disaster zone so because I do things throughout the day throughout my weeks it's not incredibly terrible when I have guests over so doing these little things here and there definitely put the icing on the cake and make my house super welcoming for my guests this little 30 minute routine has always been my go-to routine when I know that somebody's coming over I just feel like it shows my guests that I would prepared for them I was ready for them to come I'm excited about them being here so I've always loved doing that right before guests come over so I hope this video was helpful for you if you have any speed cleaning tips definitely leave those down below in the comment area to help a sister out help our little community out because we love I love I love getting tips on how to clean more efficiently, work smarter, not harder. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching. Bye guys.